up, my beautiful ladies and gamers of the world? It's your girl Keelan, aka it's Keelan, and I am back with another mother freaking video. As you can see from the title of this video, I don't know what to do, something that I haven't done in a long time, which is makeup. Right now it's 91 degrees outside and y'all know we like to, to have a makeup on so I, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a um, sweat proof makeup video for you guys. I have actually recently, I spent like maybe two, an hour or two outside and I did not sweat once. My face was still looking glowy but it was matte, so I thought I would do a video for you guys to have, um, do like a sweat proof makeup routine for the summertime. So if you guys want to know how I get my makeup to look a flawless, even when it is a, um, a really hot, blazing hot outside, then please, please keep on watching. I need to put my hair up. That is my wig, y'all. I'm going to give it to wigs. I styled this one. I mean, I didn't style it, but I bought it and, you know, tried to zhuzh it up. But uh, I need to put it in a ponytail real quick, so let me go get a ponytail over. Alrighty, so now that our hair is pretty much out of our face, we're gonna, I already moisturized and threw my face off, um, washed my face and everything off camera. We're gonna go ahead and prep my face with my Mario Badescu spray. Love, love, love this spray. This is the um, aloe, herbs, and rose water one. Love it. much gives it some extra moisturizer. I already moisturized and everything before I did this video. Um, so yeah, while that is setting in or drying, you guys know I always do my eyebrows off camera. It's so weird to be doing a um, makeup video right now. Like, it feels really weird. Okay, but you guys know I do my makeup, like my eyebrows off camera. So the next one I'm going to go in with our putty. Now, I mean, well, putty primer. So I use both of them actually. I use this one for my areas that are more dry than this is just a regular one. This is the poreless primer. And this is the matte petty poreless primer. So I use this one for obviously the areas that sweat, which would be my T-zone and my nose. And then this is for all over the face. I find that, that that actually works for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the areas around my nose and my T-zone. If y'all bear with me, I'm still in my mom's house, so I don't actually have a mirror, so I'm going to actually be doing my makeup in the camera, so if it comes out, like, kind of wonky, bear with me, I'm going to try my best to do it. Bomb.com. So now I'm going in with my just regular poreless primer, and I'm just putting that all over the face. So now that we have our face nice and primed, they look all nice and soft, I'm actually going to go ahead and just jump straight into my foundation. Now, I decided um, to go back to an oldie but a goodie. This one is, um, because I have obviously two choices, they're both two concealer and one, I mean concealer and foundations in one, but late really with love Recently, I've been using my Milani just to like switch it up, just to see, you know, because this is the one that you guys know that I also use my MAC Pro One Wear, but for this video, um, I'm going to use my um, Milani. It's a concealer perfection one foundation and concealer. I find that if you uh, have a two-in-one, they just it just covers better in my opinion. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put that on my the pop doesn't work. So with a damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna go into this and put it everywhere. Do not go underneath your eyes. Just go all around your skin, I mean your face, but leave your eye underneath your eyes there. Once it's all blended out, you should look something like this. Keep in mind we're leaving our under eye 
there because we're just going to add concealer straight to the under eye and blend that in. Now, I find that I find that doing this technique though, guys, like I was watching something on Facebook and I cannot remember for the life of me the guy's name, but if I remember, I will put it like on the screen or down below. But he was saying pretty much, and it makes sense as a makeup artist, like a lot of times on Instagram you see people doing their makeup and it's literally like they're painting on the makeup so it has nothing to blend into. Well, if you don't paint on your makeup and you just literally do what I'm doing and just press it into the skin without having so much makeup on your skin, it just looks more natural, it looks more good. And I, honestly that's a technique that I've done, but I've like done some like... Uh, upgrade since I watched that video and <laughs> that makeup be looking good y'all now that we have our concealer pressed in obviously it is time to go in and set our makeup so I'm just going to go ahead and set it or the concealer so that it does not move I'm going to go ahead and take my black radiance contour palette and go ahead and contour my face Now that I've contoured, it's pretty much time to go ahead and set all of my contour and the bridge of the nose. Normally, you guys, this is where I would go in and I would set the rest of my face with powder as well. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave this how it is because although we want it now, we still want to look like we have a summer glow, you know? So this is what I've been doing to keep it looking that way. So now I'm just going to sweep off all that powder. So now I'm just going to go ahead and give it some extra hydration. So this is what we're looking like now. Now obviously you can stop at this point or you can continue. I like to obviously look like I have blush and stuff. So I'm just going to use my blush from MAC. This one is Rosie Does It. I love, love, love it. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the cheeks. So now that I have the blush on, it is time for a highlight. I'm just gonna go ahead and I've been using the Milani. I've been using the Milani highlight, y'all. This is not sponsored, by the way. I feel like I've been using a lot of Milani, Milani products. My concealer was Milani. My foundation is Milani. My highlight is Milani. But it's not sponsored. But hello, Milani, if you want to sponsor me, even though I'm a small YouTuber, it's I would I'll take it <laughs> but um now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Milani highlight and we're gonna go into that gold thin one because we want to make it look like it's a natural glow so just highlighting literally the tip and then the bridge it just does something to the nose y'all I had to figure that out the hard way, but now that I know about it, I'm not highlighting the entire nose. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips, and I use this is a NYX, um, this is a NYX Professional and Suede Matte Lip Liner. This one is in Vintage. So now that we have our lip liner on, we're gonna go ahead and add some lip gloss. Now you guys know that I am a cosmetics, or I have my own lip gloss and cosmetics business. So I'm gonna use my one of my own. This is my favorite one that I literally recently just made. This one is Butterfly. This one is Butterfly Princess. If you guys want, the link will be down. Or if you guys want this, the link will be down in the description below. It smells like pina colada. It feels like heaven on the lips. You just cannot go wrong with this. So 
now it's time for mascara. Um, I'm not gonna do much to the eyes. I just wanna keep it natural, but I am gonna add some mascara. Just gonna go ahead and, actually my mom bought me this new one and it is Limo Life by Alcom Mascara. And uh, it works pretty nicely. So first one I'm gonna use for this. Alright guys, and this is the final makeup look. If you guys like how this turned out and you want to try it, please, please tag me on my social media or on Instagram. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. It has been a while since I've done a makeup, guys, a makeup video for you guys, so I was really excited to do this. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this look. If you want to recreate this look, use my hashtag, it's Keelan. And... Don't forget to give this video a big, big, big thumbs up because it really helps me out a lot. Always remember to stay classy and a little bit trashy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.